Ladies and gentlemen, number 19 on the homework. I just made a list of everything that I could possibly ask you. Doesn't mean I'm gonna ask you for all of this on each question, but I might ask you for, I mean, I, I could ask you any of these things. And uh, this one, I'm not even gonna care too much about if you graph. So imagine the test, it's gonna be like if I give you this function and then I just ask you all these questions about this, okay? So vertex, how do you find the vertex? The vertex is a coordinate and that coordinate is going to be found by doing x equals negative b over 2 times a. That is ugly. Negative b over 2 times a. Now what's the b value? Negative 3. What's the a value? 1. So up on top you have negative negative 3. That changes the plus plus 3. And that's really going to be 3 over 2. 3 on top, 2 on the bottom. You guys got that? So the vertex x value, it's going to be ugly, I apologize. You could either write it as, and let me zoom out here a little. You could either write it as 3 over 2, or you could write it as, if you take a calculator and divide 3 divided by 2, it's going to be 1.5. So you could write it as 1.5 as your x value of your vertex. That's really just 1.5, 1.5. Now let's find the y value of the vertex. Whoa, what happened here? <laughs> so we have the x value of the vertex. How do I find the y value of the vertex? I plug in the x value, correct? So I'm substituting parentheses in place, or I'm replacing the x's with parentheses, and then I'm going to actually substitute in the 1.5 into each one of them. Now, I hope you guys have calculators because I'm not about to work all this out. Um, what is 1.5 squared? That's not 1.5 times 2, but what's 1.5 squared, which means 1.5 times 1.5? 2.25. So that is 2.25. And how about uh, 3 times 1.5? What is that? 4.5. So we have a minus 4.5. And we also have a minus 10 at the end, right? So let's actually do this on the calculator. What's uh, 2.25 minus 4.5? And then on a calculator, hit minus 10. So what's your answer here? Negative 12 point what? 25. 25. That is ugly. Let me put a decimal in red right there. 12.25. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your y value of your vertex. Let me zoom in to write that. That's going to be negative uh, 12.25. Okay, so as ugly as that is, that's still, that's our ugly vertex. And I know you guys are thinking, oh, we got decimals, this is ugly. I'm going to give you at least one of these where you get ugly values, all right? I mean, it's, it's still the same exact process. It's still the same exact thing. You just, you get one point for the, vert, the vertex. This is it right there. 1.5, negative 12.25. Okay, so now let's go for the uh, axis of symmetry. That's pretty easy if you, we already know the vertex because the axis of symmetry is simply going to be what? X equals, and you have to put X equals, X equals what? 1.5. Man, that's like three points right there on tomorrow's test. Okay, now the y-intercept value. How do you find the y-intercept value? Now, you could either think of Algebra 1 and say set x equal to 0 and solve, or you could think of what we learned about parabolas that are in standard form. If you were to put 0 right here, your y-intercept will be your c value, correct? So the y-intercept is really negative 10. Or you could write it as a coordinate, which is 0, negative 10. That's your y-intercept value, 0, negative 10. If you were to draw a graph, it would cross the y-axis at negative 10 on the y. Make sense? Okay, let's talk about max or min. What do you think? I haven't even graphed it, but we don't need to graph it to talk about max or min. Is this going to be a max value or a min value? You've got to look at your a value of 1. That's right. If you know that the A value is 1, you know it's going to be opening up, right? You could talk about the pattern 1, 1, 2, 4, 3, 9, but we don't even need that because we're not even graphing it. All we're asking for is max or min, and in this case, 
It's a min value. So this is what this is the way I'm going to write my answer. Let me uh, zoom in right here. I'm going to write my answer as min, and then I'm going to put y equals what is the minimum value? If you know it opens up, okay, it's a minimum value. You got to look at your vertex. What's your vertex y value? Negative 12.25. That's exactly right. Your minimum value is y equals negative 12.25. Does that make sense? Yes. And we even found this without graphing, guys. I mean, you don't even need it. Um, so maybe it's a good idea to sketch it if you're getting confused right now. So let me uh, do this. Let me actually go for a sketch. I'm going to do a quick XY table. And we said that the vertex is 0. No, it's not. It's 1.5 and negative 12.25. So on the X is 1, 2, and negative 1.5 is going to be in between the 1 and the 2. Man, this is going to get ugly because the, the Y intercept value is way down here at negative 12.25. Not the Y intercept value, the Y value of the vertex. So you're talking about a coordinate way down here somewhere. Does that make sense? And this is opening up. And if we had a nice graph, I could actually perfectly count one over one up and put a dot right there. Uh, one over the other way and one up, put a dot right there. And then I could go two over one, two, and then uh, four up. One, two, three, four, put a dot right here. And you would, the bottom line is you'd end up with a, a graph like this, right? Um, let's talk about the domain and range of that sketch. So what's the domain? X equals, whoa, all real numbers. Let me zoom in and write that. Or not. X equals all real numbers for domain. And the range of this thing, we know it's opening up. We already know the minimum value. It's stated right above. It's negative 12.25. So what's the range in this case? Y is what? Is it, is it above a certain value? Is it below a certain value? It is greater than or equal to negative 12.25. Where am I getting that 12.25 from? From the vertex. I hope this helps, guys. In this case, uh, the sketch, I only did it so you could get an idea that the domain, it really does go left and right forever. The uh, Y values... The minimum value is down here at negative 12.25. I got that from the vertex y value down here, and it's all above it. So that's why the range is y is greater than or equal to negative 12.25. Okay, once again, guys, uh, notice that I didn't, have, I didn't have a perfect graph. I did a sketch. Again, I repeat, the only thing I want to ask of you on this question, or similar to this question, is I want to give you the original function, and then I want to ask for all this information. Oh, the vertex is this. Oh, the axis of symmetry is x equals 1.5. You get one point for this one, one point for this one. You get another point for the y-intercept, another point for max or min, another point for domain. So you get all those values. This, I'm not even going to care about. This, I just drew it just so we could see and get a, a better understanding of the domain and the range and all that stuff. Okay?